So what I'm gonna do here, whoops. second. I'm in a taller room here. I'm going to put on my backpack. It's easier to wear it than to carry it. So be a way for me to be lazy. I'm very lazy. looks at least four feet deep. Don't drop your car keys down there. All right, there we go. Or worse, the GoPro. Here we go. Now that I think about it, I could put my GoPro on a string and, never mind. <laughs> Not today. This crack in the ceiling goes up pretty high too. No sign of natural light though. We're pretty far underground. Obviously. <laughs> formations right on the wall too that huge formation in the middle is a distraction the actual interesting formations one time i came here my gimbal wasn't working so i used to i just took a bunch of pictures i took like 400 pictures people were teasing me it's like you missed one formation you know <laughs> it's like well you just have to come back and do it again yeah it was awesome Luckily, I have a camera with a good automatic exposure. My older camera, there was like regular pictures. I could take a picture up to like one fourth of a second long. And then the night mode, I could do like a minimum of four seconds. So there's a gap in between like one fourth of a second and four seconds that was just would have been perfect for like sunrise and sunset and caving. So that gap kind of sucked. But yeah, this newer camera, it doesn't have that gap. And I'll, I'll do it all in the regular modes, like aperture priority or shutter priority or whatever. So it's a lot less picky. Much better firmware. And a better sensor. They both had good sensors, but you know what I mean. All right, well, um, there's uh, formations on the ceiling. I don't want to bump the ceiling and damage it. So. I have to take off my backpack now. Go a little bit slower so I don't damage the cave.
I can get through here without damaging anything. Just a second. So there's a nice big formation here. <sighs> so notice how smooth the wall is over there. Suspicious, isn't it? But the floor here, the ceiling, look at that one. There's one shaped like a crucifix or a T. Oh, blob. That's a technical term, a blob. Because I think the technical term is globule. <laughs> blob sounds funnier. I'll have to look up a dictionary. What is the difference between a blob and a glob and a globule? Is there a blobule? Anyway. Oops, hang on. My gimbal's in the wrong mode again. There we go. Honestly, what I should do is that's button that switches modes, I should just remove the button so I can't switch it. Because on this gimbal, I only use one mode 99% of the time, and the other mode I use isn't really that important. So. Well, I see what's going on, I keep bumping it. See, I'm trying to hold the uh, camera and the flashlight with one hand, so they're pointing the same direction. But if they bump into each other, the light wins and the camera loses. Formations here are small, but they're everywhere on the wall and the part of the ceiling. But the floor is like just rock. Uh, uh. All right, I'm trying to. Uh... Mm. On this flashlight, the battery's down to fifty percent. So that's actually better than I expected. So that's. Ah, come on. 